Today in livestock, cattle was firm. That cash market is expected to stabilize somewhat this week, kind of giving the market some uh, a little firmness now. Now we're uh, at the lower part of this four day channel that we have been in really since uh, the beginning of April. But a couple of things to keep, to keep note of is that the, uh, the cow herd uh, uh, from the beef side is really the lowest since 1962. Uh, the drought and high feed costs have drove producers to kind of send animals to, uh, to the slaughter. So that's why we have talked earlier about uh, tighter supplies coming in. So that could be an issue and certainly uh, the, our prices are still remaining very high. Uh, right now, the, uh, it just looks like the, the, the market is staying strong that even though we did have a little bit of a sell-off last week. Now, feeders were up as well. The commitment of traders did show an increase in the long positions, both in the live cattle and in the feeders. Um, by uh, the, the total is 106,000 on the cattle side, 14,000 on the feeder side. I think that that's pretty significant and it's kind of uh, means that it's a, a big indication that perhaps, uh, you know, their demand is, is still around. And of course, we're right on the precipice of the grilling season right now. So we were up uh, two bucks, but certainly a long way away from the $10 slide that we got on the feeder side. And yet we're at $223. Uh, it's uh, kind of mind boggling uh, how high these markets have gotten. Now the hogs today were steady. That sell off was a little bit overdone. Futures did make a new low, but just by a few cents.